Hi, welcome to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith. In this episode, we're going to be starting our playthrough of Rampage. But before we begin, there's a couple of things I want to mention. I actually have the city board sitting on top of a piece of foam core that I've cut out so that if I need to, between the episodes I can pick up and move the entire board and hopefully everything will stay in place. That's the theory anyway. So if you see the board sitting up off the table just slightly, that's why. Also, I want to show you the character and power cards that we drew for our monsters. Luke is young, and apparently, so is his monster. Because if he eats more senior meeples, those are the gray ones, than any other player at the table, he'll earn an additional 10 points. His power is the long tail, and that means he can take a demolish action on any building adjacent to his neighborhood without needing to be on the sidewalk adjacent to that building. And his secret superpower? Well, it's a secret. We'll find out later when he chooses to reveal it. My monster is destructive, and that means at the end of the game, if I've destroyed more floors than any other monster, I'll gain an additional 10 victory points. I'm also wearing a retainer, and that means I'll always have a minimum of four teeth when it's time for me to chow down. Even if Luke has managed to knock all of my teeth out, which I'm sure he'll try to do. And because you guys are working with me, I will share my secret superpower. It's called Ultra Bright Smile. So apparently my monster is very concerned with oral hygiene. During the game, if I choose to reveal this card, then instead of eating the meeples in my neighborhood, I can choose to eat meeples currently on the runaway board. And then I get to reorganize the meeples without triggering any effects. Well, I'm going to go get Luke, but when we come back, we'll be ready to get started. Alright, we're back, and we've been joined by... Luke Smith. And we are ready to wreck this city. And each other. Well, we might end up wrecking each other, but for now, I'm over on this side, I'm the blue monster, and Luke's way over here, where hopefully he can't harm me for at least a turn or two. We'll see. And I'm going first. So, for my first action, I want to try to move my monster. So, I'd like to get onto a sidewalk space, I think, near a building so that I can then try to destroy it. Let's see how I do. One thing about this game is there's lots of opportunities for me to embarrass myself with failed attempts at things. Ooh, but that was pretty good. Now normally I would put my monster back on its paws after a move, but I want to take a demolish action. So instead, I'm just going to hover it over this building, and I can put it anywhere over this building. I think I'll put it uh, here and drop. Wow! <laughs> I wasn't expecting to knock over this other building. Okay, well now we need to take a look for collateral damage. Obviously, I didn't knock over Luke, but there are some building floors to gobble up. I've got one exposed one right here, and then one here as well. Remember, these are going to be worth one point each. doesn't matter how big or small they are. One point each at the end of the game. And my monster loves eating up floors, so I'm glad to get two of them. But we also need to check for runaway meeples. One of them actually fell off the table on the floor. That was this one here. Plus I have, oh my goodness. It's a total of four here. We need to put these on the runaway board. You know what happens when I fill up this first line, right, Dad? I do know what happens, and I don't like it. You can see on the symbols here, I have to lose a tooth. It's going to go back to the box. And then Luke gets to move my monster to any neighborhood of his choosing. All right, Luke, where do you want to put my paws? Now, remember, I haven't eaten any meeples yet. Mm -hmm. So you might want to keep me in a neighborhood near where there's some things for me to eat. We don't want me to go hungry, after all. There are no meeples in that neighborhood, Luke. Exactly. So this means that when it's time for me to chow down, there's nothing for me to eat. And worse than that, almost worse than that, it's now Luke's turn. So Luke, what do you want to do? Demolish. Okay, now you're able to do a demolish action even when your feet are on the sidewalk because... Long tail. Long tail. All right, go ahead, Luke, and do your demolish. Oh, 
knock you down. <laughs> You did knock me down. And I noticed a couple meeples went scattering as well. Look, it's time for collateral damage. Well, we had a rumble. I got knocked over, and that means I have to give Luke one of my teeth, which he places in his monster's stomach. There's also a building for me to gobble. Yeah, there's one floor right here, which I will give you. And we do have some runaway meeples. Well, actually, just one. So that's not too bad for you, although I know you like seniors, so you probably aren't happy that one ran away. But you didn't fill up a line, so that's good. Mm. Well, Luke, we're going to put your monster back on its paws. What would you like to do next? Demolish again. Okay. Well, thankfully, I'm already knocked over, so I can't get knocked over again. But this building and the meeples around it are certainly up for getting hit. Ooh! Ooh that was kind of like a no. quick bounce. Well, once again, Luke, you're going to get to gobble up another floor right on top of that building. Nicely done. And look, that has exposed another floor that you can gobble up. But it's not all good news. There are some runaway meeples, and they already helpfully ran over here to the runaway board. And look at this. When we place them, uh -oh. yeah, they fill up this line as well. So, Luke, you're going to have to give up a tooth. But also, during my next turn, I get to take one additional action. But back to the good news for Luke. It's time to chow down. Luke, you have five teeth left, and there are four citizen meeples here that are in your neighborhood. A businessman, a soldier, and a tasty senior. And you like seniors, they work towards your bonus. Well, to start, we need to put you back up on your paws. But it's my turn, so I also need to go back on my paws as well. I have three actions to take. I think my first one, I'm going to blow. I'm going to use my breath and try to knock down this building. Now, in our How to Play video, I failed miserably. This time will be different, I hope. All right, here goes. <laughs> oh, no, I failed again. <laughs> okay, it wasn't an utter failure. I do get to eat this floor here that's been exposed. And although some meeples ran away, at least they were seniors, which I know Luke is looking for. So they'll go on the board here. And I have two more actions to hopefully redeem myself. All right, now I'm going to try to move next to this building. Very good. And now I want to do another demolish action. There is one thing I'm worried about here. If I drop this on the building and more meeples fly off, I... That would be awesome. No, it wouldn't. I would lose two teeth. That's good. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And I'd really like for these to fall off into this gray neighborhood that I'm in. All right, here we go. More fell off. Uh, no, just the floor. One. I think the floor fell off. And, oh, and oh. A, a little meeple did escape. Let's take a look at the wreckage here. First of all, there's a floor right here. I'm going to gobble that up. And I'd love to be able to take this floor as well, but there's a journalist just hanging on to it with his leg, so I can't have that one. We have a runaway meeple right here, and we'll place it on the board. Thankfully, it didn't fill up a line here. But now it's time for me to chow down, and I have four teeth left, so I can eat four meeples. There's one here, 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 and here. There's also this green army meeple here, but he's still on the ruins and sidewalk. No part of him is outside of the sidewalk, so I cannot get him, even though he's very, very close to touching this part of the neighborhood. So I will gobble up these four. I would have liked more variety, to be honest. There's a lot of duplicates there of the blondes, but oh well. Now my monster goes back on its feet, and my turn is over. Well, Luke, what's your first action going to be? I'm going to move. Okay, so Luke's gonna try flicking his paws somewhere else in the city. Where do you want to go? I want to go in your neighborhood. Oh, we're coming for a visit. Good flick. You got into the neighborhood. And you know what? You opened up that, that floor. It's now open. You're going to be able to gobble it up. Go ahead and take that floor, Luke. All yours. There you go. Now, Luke still has a second action left. Do you know what you want to do? Yes. For my second action, I'm going to demolish with my long tail. What are you going for? Oh, the stadium. stadium. Stand back, everybody. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> you scattered everybody, but the stadium st stood up, and that's partially because there's a vehicle here kind of helping support it, which worked out okay. Well, time to look for some collateral damage. 
Well, we can see there's no collateral damage here for Luke to take. But I'm going to use my secret superpower called Terminator. Okay, now what does this do? It just knocks you over and I take your tooth. Right, so I'm knocked over and here's another one of my teeth. Now I'm technically down to three teeth, but I always get to have four teeth at a minimum. But Luke still wants to take my teeth because they're worth points for him at the end of the game. Now it's time to chow down and I'm going to eat the photographer and three soldiers. All right, Luke has five teeth, but he can only get to four of these meeples. And Luke's actually in two neighborhoods right now. He's in this yellow one and this gray one because his feet are touching both. But he has to pick which one of these neighborhoods he wants to eat from. And that was probably the best pick because there's actually nothing in this neighborhood that I can see. Well, I think we can tell one of the monsters at this table is doing a better job of destroying the city and eating up the meeples, and it's not me. But there's still time for me to make a comeback, and I want your help. Now, I realize this is game is a little difficult for you to provide me with suggestions, because if you tell me, oh, knock over this building so you can eat these meeples, I can't guarantee I'll knock it over the way you want me to, but I'm going to try. So tell me what you think I should do with my two actions. Make it as crazy and wild as you want. I'll do my best to make it happen. Put your suggestion in the comments below. If you like what someone suggests, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like it, provide your own suggestion. Maybe someone will vote for that. And that's what I'll come back and try to do. But until the next episode, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.